Over 150 different cartoons share one massive universe. Recently, Cartoon Network aired an amazing OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes special called Crossover Nexus that included a fun team up between current Cartoon Network heroes. This special was jam packed full of references to classic Cartoon Network shows and implied a larger shared universe between all of the series. After taking a closer look at not only the shows in this special, but the shows connected to those shows, we've uncovered what might be the largest shared cartoon universe in history. Move over, Pixar Theory! Today's investigation will lay out how almost all of your favorite cartoons exist in the same universe, or multiverse, really. This shared cartoon universe idea is actually one we have been developing for months. See, look, here's some of our old prep material. But a while back, we had OKKO OK creator Ian Jones Cordy in the studio, and he hinted that maybe we should hold off for a little while. Well, we're glad we did, because this crossover Nexus special was a ton of fun. It utilized and referenced countless Cartoon Network series and created a perfect jumping off point for our massive shared universe. First, let's run through all of the cartoons that cross over into the OKKO OK special. Our main characters are KO, Garnet, Raven, and Ben Tennyson, connecting OKKO OK OK Let's Be Heroes, Steven Universe, Teen Titans Go, and Ben 10. The special also made blatant references and character appearances from tons of other series. Bear with us while we speed through this list. <clears throat> I am Weasel, Symbionic Titan, Hi Hi Puffy Yamayumi, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, The Life and Times of Juniper Lee, Infinity Train, My Gym Partner's a Monkey, Fire Breather, The Problem Solvers, The Fancies, Tiggle Winks, Periwinkle Around the World, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Generator Rex, Megas XLR, Jor-El's Brother, Time Squad, Evil and Concarne, Codename Kids Next Door, Robotomy, Victor and Valentina, Squirrel Boy, Summer Camp Island, Camp Lazo, Apple and Onion, Craig of the Creek, Sheep in the Big City, Mike Lou and Ong, Out of Jimmy's Head, Long Live the Royals, Villainous, Wacky Races, Mighty Magiswords, Whatever Happened to Robot Jones, Secret Mountain Fort Awesome, Uncle Grandpa, The Amazing World of Gumball, Regular Show, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Over the Garden Wall, The Moxie Show, We Bear Bears, Clarence, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Chowder, The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, Dial M for Monkey, Cow and Chicken, Johnny Bravo, The Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, and Adventure Time! Whew, holy crap! That's an insane number of shows, but we're only just getting started, baby. Strap in! This was actually OKKO's OK second ever crossover. The first was with none other than Captain Planet and One Planeteer. <laughs> Kwame, they brought back LeVar Burton. It was awesome. One of the most popular series in Cartoon Network history is Powerpuff Girls, and that show has some pretty fun connections itself. Hell, earlier this year, it was established that popular animated band The Gorillas exists in the Powerpuff Girls universe, as the new bassist for Gorillas is none other than Ace, leader of the Gang Green Gang. What a time to be alive. Powerpuff Girls also connects to the Super Friends in this classic Cartoon Network bumper. It's also connected with Samurai Jack, which takes place in a dystopian future. In one episode, Jack actually walks through the ruins of ancient Townsville. Samurai Jack also connects to the shows Quick Draw McGraw and Two Stupid Dogs. Now let's back up again to the part of the crossover nexus that showcased the Buzz Wagon. The Buzz Wagon is, of course, a vehicle from the Hanna-Barbera classic Wacky Races. Now that we've got one Hanna-Barbera cartoon in there, we can loop in pretty much all of them, thanks to Birdman. Birdman! After going to law school, Birdman later became Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Now he's the attorney general. In that series, Harvey defended and interacted with almost every Hanna-Barbera cartoon in history. So prepare yourself for another long list that we'll read through as quickly as possible. <clears throat> Johnny Quest, Scooby-Doo, Yogi Bear, Jabberjaw, The Flintstones, Dino Mutt, Secret Squirrel, Inch High Private Eye, Ernie Devlin, Speed Buggy, Wally Gator, Grape Ape, Quick John McGraw, Wacky Races, Godzilla, The Amazing Chan and the Chan Clan, The Herculoids, Captain Caveman, Thundar the Barbarian, Moby Dick and the Mighty Mitor, Help, It's a Hair Bear Bunch, The Funky Phantom, Hokey Wolf, Wheelie and the Copper Bunch, CB Bears, The Mumbly Cartoon Show, Laugh Olympics, The Impossibles, The Quicky Koala Show, Magilla Gorilla, The Jetsons, Super Friends, Yaki Doodle, Top Cat, Pixie Dixie and Mr. Jinx, Shazam, Adam Ant, Breezley and Sneasley, Squidly Diddly, Snagglepuss, Loppity Loop, The Hillbilly Bears, and The Huckleberry Hound Show. That is a lot of cartoons. All of those are real, I promise you. Moving back into the cartoon nexus, let's branch out from Space Ghost now, which brings in Aqua Teen Hunger Force and the Brack Show to our cartoon web, classic Adult Swim. Now, let's explore Teen Titans Go, which obviously had a big presence in Cartoon Nexus. Now, we have multiple pieces of definitive proof that Teen Titans Go and the early 2000s iteration of Teen Titans are connected. Earlier this year, in Teen Titans Go to the Movies, a post credit scene showcased the older Titans trying to find their way back to your TV screens. This is the Teen Titans. Can anyone hear us? 
We think we found a way back. Looks like the Teen Titans will be fighting Teen Titans Go in an upcoming crossover special. Plus, in Cartoon Nexus, we see Raven almost go back to the Teen Titans world instead of the Teen Titans Go world. Plus, Teen Titans Go connected with the 1960s version of the Teen Titans. This loops in the Superman Aquaman Hour of Adventure. Teen Titans Go is also connected to the 2016 version of the Powerpuff Girls in a crossover episode. But here's where things get a little bit more fun and interesting. Did you know the Teen Titans Go universe has their own version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? In a couple of different episodes, we see these funny looking TMNT iterations. And one of them is even played by Greg Sipes, who played Michelangelo in the 2012 version of the Turtles. Now, something else we know about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is that they also exist within a multiverse, just like the Teen Titans. Behold! A multiverse of accursed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! In 2009, a TV movie called Turtles Forever, so good, connected the 1987 TMNT series to the 2003 TMNT series, and even threw in the original Turtles from Mirage Comics in black and white. Then in 2016, an episode of the 2012 TMNT connected that series to both the Mirage Comics and the 1987 cartoon show. In our opinion, establishing this multiverse means we can connect every version of the TMNT into our web of cartoons here, including this year's new series, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And for fun, we'll even loop in these versions of the Ninja Turtles from the BoJack Horseman universe, who seem to just be honest, hardworking, sewer maintenance workers. You know, cut them some slack. And if you want to get crazy, and why the f not, we can add then the live action TMNT show The Next Mutation, which also definitively ties in Power Rangers in space and the entirety of the Power Rangers franchise. That web is getting pretty big, but we aren't done yet. Jumping back into our Hanna-Barbera web, let's look at Johnny Quest. This series ties to a couple of random properties. Tom and Jerry crossed over with Johnny Quest, and even stranger, Tom and Jerry crossed over with The Wizard of Oz and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Who knew? <laughs> Tom and Jerry. And an older version of Johnny Quest also appears in Venture Brothers, and let's not forget to point out that our web now includes David Bowie. Thanks, Venture Brothers. Most interestingly, Johnny Quest also ties to The Incredibles 2. You can actually see a billboard for Quest Airlines in the city of New Urbum in the exact same font as the Johnny Quest logo, tying the universes together. And I know that within that movie, they were watching a cartoon show of Johnny Quest, but that doesn't mean that Dr. Benton Quest and his family couldn't have a cartoon show based on their real life exploits within the Incredibles universe. We've solved it. This means that the entirety of the Pixar theory can also loop into this web. Yeah, you heard that right, baby. We're consuming the Pixar theory right into our big ass connected multiverse. That adds every Pixar film to the web. We've got all the greats, the good dinosaur, Cars 2, they're all in there. Next, let's branch off the classic Hanna-Barbera cartoon, Scooby-Doo. They've had crossovers with Batman, the Brave and the Bold, and characters from the WWE have also made appearances. WWE also definitively ties to G.I. Joe through Sergeant Slaughter, and G.I. Joe connects to Transformers when Cobra Commander appeared in that show. Scooby-Doo also crossed over with Josie and the Pussycats, which loops in Archie and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. The Scooby-Doo gang has even crossed over with the Harlem Globetrotters, and a future version of the Harlem Globetrotters have also appeared in another popular cartoon, Futurama. Here on this very channel, we previously discussed that Futurama likely shares the universe with Disenchantment, as seen here, and they also had a crossover with The Simpsons, of course. The Simpsons has had a huge number of crossovers with classic cartoons. The Family Guy episode, The Simpsons Guy, brought the Griffins to Springfield. The Critic has made an appearance on the show. The Hills from King of the Hill dropped by for a football game. Mulder and Scully were in The Simpsons, and Rick and Morty even had their own adventure in this Simpsons couch gag. Now, we wouldn't normally count couch gags, but because Rick and Morty exists in a multiverse, and their couch gag had an actual story and narrative. We're counting it. South Park has also featured Bart Simpson in a 2010 episode of their show, and even had Simpsons characters appear as recently as a few weeks ago in the latest season. Family Guy helps us loop in American Dad and The Cleveland Show, obviously. King of the Hill actually ties to Bob's Burgers as Dale's exterminator truck is seen in the opening of an episode. And Bob's Burgers ties to Archer in Archer's season four premiere crossover episode. Even sillier, King of the Hill actually ties us to Silver Surfer in this hilarious old Fox Kids bumper. Mr. Surfer? Have you ever considered propane as an alternative energy source for that board of yours? This is the Silver Surfer from the Marvel Animated Universe of the 90s, which allows us to loop in every one of those series. That includes Spider-Man, X-Men the Animated Series, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man Unlimited, and Avengers United They Stand. I'm the one who brought you. Tell I... us what's going on, or I'm gonna squash you flat. Backing up a bit, the inclusion of Rick and Morty can connect us to Gravity Falls. After Grunkle Stan loses his mug, pad of paper, and pen in this 
this portal, we see them drop out of a portal in an episode of Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty can also loop in My Little Pony, which featured pony versions of both Rick and Morty in an episode of their series. With Rick and Morty existing in a multiverse, this totally allows for pony versions of these characters to exist. Gravity Falls also ties us to the series finale of Future Worm, which showed its characters travel to multiple different worlds in a quick little fun sequence. This also saw the worlds of Pickle and Penny, Wander Over Yonder, and Star versus the Forces of Evil. And for the last little leg of our cartoon journey, let's back up to Scooby-Doo one more time. Scooby and Shaggy made an appearance in the film Looney Tunes back in action. This loops in the Looney Tunes universe, which ties us to films like Space Jam and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit ties it to Disney and Mickey Mouse, which ties it to Bonkers the Cat and even Kingdom Hearts, and a goofy movie. Kingdom Hearts brings in the entirety of Final Fantasy. Looney Tunes also connects us to Tiny Tunes and Animaniacs, which gets us a brief appearance from Tim Burton's Batman, Pinky and the Brain, and even Freakazoid, plus Prince. And it even gets more fun. Freakazoid had a great little joke that included Batman from Batman the Animated Series. Bringing Batman the Animated Series into the mix also lets us loop in the entire DC animated universe. Yeah, that's right. Superman the Animated Series, Static Shock, Batman Beyond, The Zeta Project, sure. Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, BAM! This is insane. Look at all of these shows. I cannot believe so many different cartoons are interconnected like this. It's like some kind of cartoon network. Oh my God. We've done it. We've solved cartoons. There's no reason to watch any of them anymore ever again. You hear that, AV Club? No fun for anyone! Now look, we definitely understand that most of these are just fun animation Easter eggs, but all of these cartoons do have clear connections to each other. In theory, you could have Mickey Mouse pop up in Rick and Morty. The Ninja Turtles could visit Gravity Falls. Hell, the DC Animated Universe could battle the Marvel Animated Universe. And even though we'll probably never see any of these things, it's pretty cool that you can actually tie all of this stuff together. But what do you folks think about this massive conspiracy of cartoon connectivity? Was it fun to see how all of these different shows are connected? Or did we just ruin cartoons forever? Were there any connections that we missed? I doubt it. I doubt it. Let us know below in the comments. And if you like this giant cartoon web we made, head over to Nerdist.com to take a closer look. And hey, if you've got more connections, keep adding them. And as always, do not forget to check out Talkin' Tunes. Rob Polson, who's in like 20% of the cartoons we mentioned today, has the best voice actors out there discuss their careers and read fun scripts. New episodes of Talkin' Tunes drop every Friday on ProjectAlpha.com. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to another animation investigation. If you like this case, do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ding the notification bell. That closes another case. Catch you on the next animation investigation.